two MLB player props here on Prize Picks for Monday, August 21st. Before we get started, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up for Prize Picks there, or you can use promo code TUFF. There's also a WAP link in the description of this video, you guys. It's where you can get access to the premium Discord here, only $9.30 per month. Honestly, one of the cheaper um, premium Discords, in my opinion, that I've really seen. Um, here's a just you can screenshot this video or pause the video here to see this is what we offer here in the premium discord You get all of my plays all the plays that I'm making on WNBA uh, NFL MLB NBA obviously once things get started with those sports uh, We got some other cappers in there that post uh, their plays as well We've had some nice nice days here in the premium discord So you can check out that link in the description uh, Also do want to mention I'm not a financial advisor not a gambling. This is not gambling advice just plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. We're on a 6-0 run, you guys, here on YouTube Video Plays. Check a look at the community post on the channel. We've hit, we've hit three straight videos we've hit on both YouTube Plays here. So again, drop a like on this video if uh, I've given you guys any free winners over the last couple of days. Hit that subscribe button, but let's get right into it. So the first play, yeah, we're going to have two MLB. Obviously, there's only MLB on today. The first one is going to be an earned runs allowed play, and it's going to be one we've taken before. It's going to be Tuki Toussaint over two and a half earned runs allowed. Uh, we take a look at Tuki here. He's over this line in his last three starts, um, four, four, and three here um, against Texas, New York, and Chicago. Uh, so a few reasons why I like Tuki. First of all, let's take a look at Outlier. Um, there's also a link at the top of the description of this video to get a uh, seven day free trial with Outlier. Again, one of the best research tools, in my opinion, in their mobile app is an absolute 10 out of 10, but you get a seven day free trial with the link in the description. But we take a look at some odds here. He's minus 133 on Caesars to go over this line, minus 130 on BetMGM and minus 125 on DraftKings to go over two and a half earned runs. And we take a look here um, over his last five, he's over this line in four of his last five, over his last 10, he's over this line in five of his last 10. Um, He's a decent pitcher, right? And he's, he's been around for a decent amount of time now. But um, it's just a tough matchup. And I, I like to target Tuki really against teams that have been hot lately because he does leave a ton of base runners, or he puts a ton of base runners on pretty much for free. So um, we take a look at Tuki, right? These are his last couple starts. He's going to pitch 90-plus pitches. Like, Chicago's not really playing for anything. I think they kind of want to see what they have with him um, as a starting pitcher. And, you know, he's he's not really on too short of a leash. But I like this play here because look at the walks. Like, in a four walk, or just take a look at this. Four walks, or five walks, two walks, two walks, four walks, four walks, four walks. In his last three starts, you guys, four walks, five walks, and five walks we're talking about 14 combined walks over his last three starts you guys that is pretty much free base runners on the on the base pass and against a team like seattle who has been a very hot team as of late we know that they're on a nice little winning streak and things like that but seattle versus right-handed pitchers over the last month they have the sixth highest batting average in baseball at 264 um on base per, on base percentage uh 336 sixth highest in baseball as well and then the wrc plus they have the fourth highest wrc plus first right handers since um july 23rd and if we if we break this down um to like even a more condensed version like since august 6th right we take a look at seattle third highest wrc plus 131 wrc plus um against righties here um and then also just still a top eight eighth highest batting average against righties as well so it is a great spot versus a very hot offense um in seattle and then take a look at i mean these are some recent starting pitchers, right-handed starting pitchers versus the Mariners. Um, I mean, just since August 11th, we see Kyle Gibson had nine earned runs. Bradish, Singer, Lyles, MacArthur, J.P. France, and just yesterday, Hunter Brown gave up six earned runs versus Seattle in only 2.2 innings. Um, and that was at home. So you can see here, I mean, it the, the last seven starting right-handed pitchers have given up at least two earned runs allowed. And none of these guys have at least more than two walks. I mean, look at the hits. 12 hits, 5 hits, 2 hits, 9 hits, 3 hits, 7 hits, 8 hits here. Um, I mean, Jordan Lyles gave up four earned runs in five innings. So Seattle's a hot team. Um, Tuki Toussaint puts a ton of runners on base for free, you guys. 14 walks over his last three starts here. Should pitch 80-plus pitches, I think, regardless. here. So should be quite a bit of opportunity um, versus him. Um, tonight so we take a look at dg fantasy over on daily grind fantasy as well um he's the third highest uh, i guess odds here on daily grind 51.72 odds to hit now this isn't obviously like great odds by using dg fantasy's um platform here but i think number third highest as far as the odds go um i do like this play here again there's also a link in the description to get a seven day free trial with daily grind fantasy 
They compare all the lines on all the major sports books here and give you a nice percentage odds to hit. Um, I think it's I think it's a great great research tool. You guys you get a seven day free trial. There's also a link in the description for that. So Tuki Tucson here over two and a half earned runs allowed is going to be the first play um, for this YouTube video. And the second play is going to be hits runs plus RBIs combo, which I've just been absolutely loving as of late here. And one that just jumped out to me off the board is going to be this uh, Devers plus Altuve. Uh, three and a half hits runs plus RBI. So really anytime there's three and a half um, I definitely do a deeper dive and take a look at if there's significant value to it um, I mean you just get in comparison like Acuna and Lindor at four and a half um, Seager, Corbin Carroll at four, Tatis and Arise at four So when you see a line at three and a half um, You know you do I do like to take a look at it to see the odds and just kind of see how it's going to work out um, but these are two guys that are extremely hot hitters. So let's just get into this. So just right off the bat, the odds for this, um, Devers is minus 150. Devers is minus 150 to go over one and a half hits runs plus RBIs and Altuve is minus 155. Um, so if we take a look here at both these guys really quickly and just how they've been hitting, they've been absolutely hitting the ball extremely well as of late. So we take a look at Altuve. Look at this. Over his last 10 games, he's over seven of his last 10. He's had at least two hits runs plus RBIs. Seven of his last 10 games, right? He's had at least two hits runs plus RBIs. We look at Devers as well. I mean, not a great over his last 10, but over his last five has been extremely hot. Four, seven, five, and four. So, I mean, either one of these guys can hit the hit this line by themselves. But when you see minus 150 for both these guys go over one and a half, um, combined three and a half just doesn't really make sense because, I mean, sometimes we'll see the line set at four, right, for the combo, and each guy by themselves will only have odds of like, minus 135 or minus 140 so extreme extreme odds here on the over for both these guys minus one and a half um we take a look at um, just how these guys have done altuve in his career versus paxton 40 plate appearances is hitting 324 324 he's got two home runs eight singles 11 hits and 40 plate appearances and i don't think devers has faced javier that many times yeah, he's a 250, has a home run against him, only one strikeout in nine of plate appearances. So it's decent here, but just taking a look at both these guys, I mean, we take a look at Rafael Devers. Over the last 15 days, he's batting 348, 1.064 batting uh, OPS. And if you take that to this last seven days, last 23 at bats, he's batting 435 with a 1.405 OPS. Devers also has three home runs in his last 23 at bats. Uh, two doubles, 10 hits in 23 at-bats. He's extremely hot as a hitter. So just take that in. Over his last seven days, Devers, 435 average. We take a look at Altuve, last seven days, 435 average. We're talking about two guys here hitting 435 over their last seven days. Great matches for both these guys as well. Um, I think this definitely bumps to four. Um, hits runs with RBIs in my opinion. So let me know in the comments, you guys hear the two plays. Tuki Tucson, over two and a half earned runs allowed. Devers, Altuve combo, three and a half hits, runs plus RBIs combo. Two YouTube plays here. Drop a like on this video, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, let's cash.